If you want to know how to make an oxygen bar or air bar that will lose air once you're in water, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Have you ever wondered how to make an oxygen bar for your scuba diving game? Here's the right place to go because I'm newbie and into this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to. So I'm pretty excited for the tutorial because it is very very easy. It's only it's only 72 lines, so should be good to go. So um, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe, turn on that notification bell to never miss out an epic Pogified video from me. And if you uh, want to become a member, just click the blue join button down below on my channel and um, uh, watch that video because I clearly state that I will not refund any payments. So please, parents, if you're watching, please don't get your please don't. Just hide your credit card. Anyways, we're gonna make in a oxygen bar. And all you wanna do is go to Star Search GUI, search a screen GUI. I'm gonna type oxygen GUI. How about how about air bar? Air GUI. Why not? Air GUI. Gonna insert a local script and a frame. The frame is gonna be a bit tricky probably. Anchor point 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5. Uh, there we go. Um, let me see. The size is going to be 0 0.2 comma 0 comma 0 comma 35. And in this tutorial, I'm also going to be showing you how to make it a game pass. So if you have a game pass, a certain game pass for a game, you're gonna get you're gonna get double. You're gonna get double the amount of oxygen. Pretty good for a game. Position 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0 and it's over here Insert a UI corner. So it's round Make this one a bit blackish just just a bit bit grayish like this Now insert another frame along with another UI corner and This is going to be the bar and this is going to be the slider We're gonna put this at 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0 so it's over there. We're gonna make this one red. We're gonna insert a text label, and we're gonna name it the the air amount. You're gonna you're gonna do one comma zero comma one comma zero for the size. Background transparency one. Text skilled true. Gotham black. Scripted value. So we're gonna script the value. Go and now all you wanna do is go to your local script, main executor. I always do that. Local bar is equals to script the parent dot bar dot slider. And instead of bar, we're gonna do slider. Local um air amount is equals to script the parent dot bar dot air amount. Now local player is equals to game dot player dot local player. Now we're gonna type, so if you own a certain game pass, you're gonna get double the amount of oxygen. If game the marketplace service colon user owns game pass async player dot user ID, comma, and then the ID, I'm gonna get a B Swarm Simulator Game Pass. I do not own it. So yes. So if you do own it, max oxygen, max air actually is going to be 200. The Rn air, so the right now air is equals to max air, and script the parent dot bar dot size is equals equals correction equals udin two dot new zero point four comma zero comma zero comma thirty five. So that's if you own it, it's gonna be double the size and double the amount. Else, if you do not own it. We're gonna get a hundred air along with a two. So we're gonna get the current bar, which you can see over here. We're gonna put it visibility off because we're only gonna make it visible once you're in water. What's half? Yes. Um, local. Let's see. We need a we need a name for the time amount you're gonna lose air. So local local lose air is equals to. So how many seconds do we want to lose one air? Um, let's do just zero point one. Uh, local in uh, well local player in water 
false equals to false and local over here we're gonna type local character is equals to player dot character and local humanoid is equals to character dot humanoid gotta spell it correctly of course because yes um so now we need humanoid dot state changed because a humanoid has a state change and what it does is if you're jumping it's gonna change to jumping if you're swimming it's gonna change to swimming so, come on, connect, function, and we're going to use the old and a new. If new is equals equals to enum.new, en nope, enum.humanoid state type dot swimming, then, so if you are swimming, the player in water is going to be true. And we're going to set your bar visible by saying script apparent bar dot visible is equals to true. So now if you go to your game, you go to, you get a model home, you go to region, you click select, you can just select a region you want for water, I want this, this fill, water fill. Now we have a huge thing of water, but don't mind. And now we're going to do, if, the, if it's anything else, player in water is going to be false, and you know, script up here in the bar. Of his ballistics to false. So if you you can test your game right now, but you're not gonna lose any oxygen. Do not worry. It's all fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. If you play our game, we're gonna go in water. You're gonna see the value. Well, you're gonna see your frame. It's gonna actually appear. Holy, what a lag! If you go in water, you do not work. Humanoid is not a valid member of model workspace. That newbie derpy dev. Line six. Hmm. Line six, line six, line six. Why do you not work? Why do you not work? Oh, uh, you want to do game dot players dot local player got character and um character colon wait for child humanoid like that. So they're gonna wait for the humanoid to spawn in. So now gonna lag because my internet is quite crappy today okay there we go so if we go in water we should be able to see yep as you can see we're in water and we see the value if we go out of water it's gonna disappear as you can see we go in it is visible we go out it's gone so this is exactly what you need now we're gonna type while wait and then the loose error do so every well, every 0 0.1 seconds, we're gonna do if is a uh, player is in water is equals equals to true. Then we're gonna do uh, right now error is equals to. We're gonna use something called math that clamp. You can do number x, number minimum, number maximum returns a number. It only returns a number. So that math that clamp is equals to a right now error. Minus one, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna get our error by minus one, so it's gonna go all the way down to zero. Uh, the minimum is going to be zero, and the maximum is going to be our error amount. And our error amount is actually oh wait no it's not error amount, it's the max error, max error. Our max error is two hundred or one hundred. We're gonna let the script decide by game pass based. And if you are not over there, we're going to do the same, but we're going to give you more oxygen because you're not in water. You're breathing normally fine. If cur uh, if right now air is, is like below one, you're simply going to die because you don't have any oxygen gel left. So humanoid health is equal to zero. And we're, now we only got to tween the frame by saying local bar scale. Um equals to right now air divided by the max air and pretty confusing you're dividing something by yeah I get it if you're confused bar colon tween size uden to new and we need the bar scale which we just defined zero comma one comma zero comma in out linear and the loose air and all you need now, 
bar, bar, bar. Why did not work? Oh, it's a sl- Hey? Eh? It's a slider, right? Yep, it's a slider, not a bar. Slider. Now we need, um, air amount. That text is equals to the right now air. And, uh, of course, how much air the maximum is. So, the max air. I believe we can do this. Yep. So, this is going to work. So, we're going to play our game. If it doesn't work, we're just going to sort every single error out till it works. God, this lag. Please stop. I do not wish an error right now. We go to water. As you can see, it slowly goes down. It slowly goes down. And if we go out of water, it's, it's invisible and it's just going to regenerate without you noticing. As you can see, 55 and it's at 70 now. So if we just wait. And you're going to notice we're going to die. Oh no, oof. Yep, you, yeah, you simply die. So if I get an, I'm going to get a jailbreak game pass because I have every of them. So let me get that. I just got the VIP ID. I own it, so now we're gonna, if we test our game out now, we're gonna lag, but that's not for you. And then, once we're in the game, I do own the game pass, so we should get double the amount. And double is cool. So if we go in water, as you can see, we have double the amount of oxygen. Woohoo! Meow. And now, if we're passing 100, it's just gonna do that. There's one optional thing, if you want it. So, if you're out of water and uh, you immediately go back in and you're at 100. What I want to do is over here. Um, right now, air is equals to the max air. So, if you're not in water, your uh, right now air. So, how many air you have left is going to upgrade itself to the maximum amount. If we go on water, as you can see, 170. If we go out and we're back in, we have full amount. So, this is a small tutorial. If you did, in fact, enjoy, do not forget a like and hit that subscribe button because, yes. So, if you're new, go ahead and do those. My name is Newbie, and I always say, peace out, Epic Gamers.